Alrighty, hello everybody, once again, this is Double Goose here with yet another YouTube tutorial on VR Chat. Uh, this time we're going to discuss something that I don't really know the entirety of, to be honest with you. This is actually something that was requested to me from a friend, uh, and I let said friend know. I don't fully know exactly how to do this to 100% extent, uh, but he had requested me do it anyways, stating, quote unquote, 78% or 80% is good enough. So, take everything here with a grain of salt. We're gonna go ahead and discuss full body tracking in VR chat and getting your skeleton to work appropriately with full body tracking on your model. Now, I work in Blender. That's my primary form of 3D modeling and adjusting, etc. Uh, so, we're going to do it in Blender. Um, so first off, I've created my skeletal structure for this model. Uh, and I'm going to go over here to my armature section here, and I'm going to go over in here and turn it over to X-Ray, so that way I can see the armature or the bone structure inside of the model. Alrighty. So here is the bone structure of the mech that I have so wonderfully named. Uh, and uh, I've created it here. Okay, so one thing, one important thing about creating a bone structure or getting a bone structure to work appropriately with full body tracking is uh, the, bo the the avatar, the more humanoid the mo avatar is or the model is, the easier it is to get it to work with full body. Reason being is because if your character has arms that are too long, the, a the avatar descriptor in VR chat will position your head in such a way that if you go, say, lean down to the floor or something like that, your head will go through the floor. It's compensating for the odd humanoid structure. Uh, if your legs are too long but your arms are too short, you'll find that you're positioned a little bit above your avatar. So whenever you go to perform the, uh, whenever you go to uh, calibrate your full body tracking, your uh, feet will actually be somewhere positioned within the shins. This is because your legs are too long and your arms are too short uh, for the skeleton. So the descriptor compensates for that. Uh, again, editing the bone structure is kind of like I said, I don't know the entirety of, it's all a hit and miss kind of a thing. Basically, you create your bone structure, hope it works the first time. If it doesn't, you're going to be constantly adjusting your bone structure so that way it does. I've gotten a couple of tips basically from a few people in the MMD community. Uh, I don't, I haven't tried this yet, so again, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Uh, but oftentimes, regarding MMD models, uh, the like I said, the legs will either be, uh, your feet, when calibrating, will be positioned in the shins, or if, you, if they are positioned where the feet should go, your hips will basically mangle whenever you calibrate it in such a way that your hip is facing forward, and you're constantly basically showing everybody your panties or whatever else is down there. Uh, because you're basically, your spine looks like it's broken. Um, so oftentimes, a lot of the issues with full body tracking I found are related to um, the hips and the spine. Some of it can be fixed by increasing the length of your arms on your model or increasing the bone ar length of the arms. I wouldn't really, I'm not really going to do that here. I've all, um, and stuff like that. Typically, if there's ever an issue, what I do is go into the model, go to your edit mode with your bone structure. Uh, edit mode, you can switch over from object mode to edit mode with tab. Like I said, you can go to x-ray by clicking on the x-ray button there. And basically just while in edit mode, you can reposition your bones. Um, typically, you know, what I... And like I said, it's a, it's hit and miss. There's I don't there I don't really know the entirety of it. Uh, it's all a matter of just take, going over to your bones here, 
repositioning the hips or something like that to say not go completely outside of the moving movement area or else it will cause issues with the leg movement but maybe adjusting it just a tad and see what happens. I've heard some people have told me that basically making the zips, the hips in a way that are kind of uh, above the, uh, or I'm sorry, the two legs, these are the left and uh, left and right upper leg, uh, positioning the left and right upper leg in a way so that it's kind of facing above your hips or taking your hips so that way they're facing above the right and leg, right, left leg. That I've heard sometimes tends to fix it. One thing I've noticed that helps too whenever you're having issues with feet and stuff like that uh, is basically positioning the feet in such a way so that they're bending slightly and adjusting the bones in such a way that they're replicating that bend. Um, so basically you go ahead and go over to edit mode yet again, click on your bones, reposition them in such a way that they are replicating the bend of the foot. Uh, this will make the SDK mad at you. Uh, the SDK will let you know that, hey, uh, your legs are not at a 180 degree angle, therefore it might not work well in full body tracking. I ignore it, upload it anyways. The worst I've noticed is when activating full body tracking, the legs are bended slightly, in which case you can adjust your height uh, settings in VR chat, and that will typically fix it. Um, so there is that, uh, if you don't know to talk, if you don't know how to create a bo bo basic bone structure in Blender, there are a billion tutorials on how to do this. If you're using a Mixamo rig, then you probably already have your bone structure. Just fiddle and adjust it like I've shown you here. Again, these are basics. If you have further questions, ask them in your comments. I try to answer questions if I know them, if or if I know how to answer them. Uh, if I don't, I'll probably be honest with you. Um, but anyways, I hope this was helpful. Again, guys, like I said, regarding full body tracking, it's still kind of a learning process and not everybody in VR chat has it yet. Um, so not everybody even really knows the entirety of, you know, where the positioning goes on what models. If you have an avatar that's basically just a human with normal human body proportions, you'll probably be absolutely fine. I've noticed anime girls tend to have longer legs than hand, arms, which can cause issues with how bone structure works. So you might need to fiddle faddle with your spine a little bit, fiddle with your hips a little bit to adjust things to make them work perfectly. It's all an adjustment process. Keep Adjust the bones, put it in unity, upload it, test it, doesn't work, rinse and repeat. It's a long, convoluted process, <laughs> but eventually you'll get it. Um, if anybody knows better and wants to comment, let me know. Feel free, throw it in the comments. Let in anybody else knows that I messed up and you have your amazing tutorial that goes over the details and the exacts of how to do this. Feel free. I would love to see more tutorials on this because I haven't even seen anything on full body tracking as of yet and uh, getting it to work appropriately with your custom models. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching this. I do hope this was helpful. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.